Hey, good afternoon, and welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. It's Tuesday, September 3rd. Again, such an honor and blessing to be with you. We're wrapping up Psalm 63. And this psalm, as I've been saying, provides the tools, the truth, the wisdom that we need to have emotional stability. Remember, these, these psalms are meant to be sung in worship. They're meant for our good. And that's what God does, especially with Psalm 63. It helps us to bring our emotions to where they work for us rather than against us. And so far, we've seen three components of how this happens. The first one is I have to search for truth. I have to have the humility and the desire to search for truth, to realize that I'm in, a, I'm in a wilderness, I'm in a barren land, I need help. I need the water of God's Spirit. So the first thing, I've got to be searching for truth. The second thing is, there's something important that I've got to believe. And we see that in verse 3 of the psalm. Your unfailing love is better than life itself. How I praise you. We've got to believe everything else is a counterfeit different ways of doing things. We've got to hold on to this truth. As Paul tells Timothy, we have to take hold of life that is truly life, not life that pretends to be life. And your unfailing love is better than life itself. It's better than anything I can desire. And we, we looked at that when we looked at that verse 3 in our psalm. And then the third thing is, I've got to meditate on these things so they sink deep into my spirit, deep into my soul, deep into the person that I am. So I've got to search. I've got to believe this amazing truth that God's unfailing love is better than life itself. And then as verse 6 says, I lie awake at night thinking of you, meditating on you through the night. That's what God is calling us to do. See, when we're not settled during the day, we bring all our fears with us at night. So instead of having a good night's sleep, we have a night of turmoil. And we're upset. But if I have this heart of searching, and I meditate throughout the night that the unfailing love is better than life itself, God's unfailing love, and I apply that to the areas of my life, even if things I don't quite understand, I know that the unfailing love is there with me. And therefore, I cling to God, but in the truth that God is holding me by his right hand. So those three things, we need those for emotional stability, to be able to navigate the waters of this life easy, in a way that's bringing honor to God and a blessing to us. I've got to search, realize I'm in the wilderness. I've got to believe the unfailing love of God is better than life itself. I've got to meditate on it to it marinates my soul. But there's one component that we need, one truth that we've got to hang on to. Because we worry that the bad guys are going to win. We worry about injustice. How is God going to fix this? This has been wrong. How is this going to happen? I'm not talking about passivity here, but we've got to recognize that that does bother us if we don't know the end of the wrongs. This last bit of truth we find in verses 9 through 11. But those plotting to destroy me, David is writing, those plotting to destroy me will come to ruin. They will go down to the depths of the earth. They will die by the sword and become the food of jackals. But the king will rejoice in God. All who swear to tell the truth will praise him, while the liars will be silenced. See, do you believe this? That God will silence the liars. The people that say things that are false. The people that maybe malign you. Maybe they malign the truth of God. Maybe, maybe things that are sacred and special are being mocked. Maybe you've been done a wrong, a horrible injustice. Maybe it seems like that the good will never win. 
of this last component of this truth, the liars will be silenced. God's Spirit will prevail. His truth will prevail. His Son, Jesus, who is reigning now, He will prevail. Brothers and sisters, this brings such comfort to us. Yeah, right now in the immediate, I may, have, may not be able to figure it all out. I may be wondering, but God's not wondering. So in this last section, He assures us those who plot evil, they will come to ruin, like Psalm 2 says. God laughs at those who think they can overthrow him. God will be victorious. King Jesus will be victorious. He took the enemy's best shot at the cross and emerged victorious and gives us hope. So this last component of having this emotional severity, emotional security, I've got to search, I've got to believe that God's unfailing love is better than life itself. I, w I need to meditate on it and bring these things into my heart over and over again so that it is my life's belief and understanding. I bring it in line with God's truth. And then I have to believe that God will silence the liars, that he won't abandon us. Christ will win. The justice of God will win. It may not look to us like it today, but God will not be defeated. He's already accomplished the victory. Just because you and I don't get it right now, doesn't mean it's not happening or it has happened. This is where I've got to believe the things that I can't see over the things that I can see. That last beautiful truth, the liars will be silenced. Don't let those who mock God, those who have abused and mistreated you, don't let them have the upper hand. Know that God's truth will prevail. So hang on to those components of truths that give you emotional stability. Search for the Word of God. Believe that the unfailing love of God is better than life itself. Meditate on it, especially when you go to sleep. Instead of being plagued by worry, say over and over again the truth of God's Word. And then rest in peace and security. Liars will be silenced. Psalm 63. It's a powerful statement to the power of God and a blessed peace for our emotions to work for us rather than against us. Thank you for being here, and uh, Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. You have a great night. Bye-bye.